Hey guys, welcome back to Cora. Uh, I know some of you guys want to see the battery test of ENV200 and today we are going to do it. Yeah, this is the 50 kilowatt hour battery module we produced for a customer from Spain. Uh, so we will test it. And now let me use the OBD2 to check the battery first. We just connected the OBD2, so take a look at the lift spy. So we can see voltage now is 390 volt and the voltage difference is 25 millivolt. And temperature right now is 16 degrees Celsius. Yeah, this time we installed a 62 kilowatt hour BMS. So you can see the AHR is 179 ampere hour. Of course, it has no effect on the test results, so don't worry. And you can see the voltage now is 390 volt. Actually, we had done a high power charge test on it. So now we will do the high power discharge test. Also, we will use our high power charging and discharging test platform to do the test. Okay, it's doing the high power discharging test here. And see the lift spy. Uh, we can see the voltage now is 372 volt. The discharging current now is 108 amps. And the voltage difference is uh, 29 millivolt. The temperature right now is 16 degrees Celsius. It looks very stable, right? The battery on the left is discharged through the equipment and used as a power source to charge the battery on the right, achieving high power charge and discharge testing. This display is monitoring the battery on the right. So you can see the charging voltage now is 371 volt. The charging current now is 79 amps. The temperature is 18 degrees Celsius and the voltage difference is 31 millivolt. And for this battery pack, we use this mobile phone to monitor it. So we can see the charging voltage now is 365 volt. Current is 89 amps. The voltage difference is 35 millivolt. And the battery temperature is 17 degrees Celsius. We recorded the sound lift spy readings while the battery was continuously discharged at a high power. Uh, so we can see that the current is stable at around 110 amps and the voltage is about 367 volt. So the discharging power is about 40 kilowatt. The voltage difference, battery temperature and other data of the whole process are quite stable. Yeah, looks very good. Okay, now the voltage has dropped below 360 volt, and the current also starts to drop. Um, because we set it up, um, it will automatically stop discharging when it reaches about 350 volt, which is to meet the transportation requirement of lithium batteries. After this test is completed, we will repeat the high power charging and the discharging test one more time to make sure it can meet our testing requirements. In addition, in order to simplify the installation steps, we have optimized the connection method of the bus bar. Previously, a customer needed to put the heat shrink tube on the bus bar first and then use the hot air gun to blow the heat shrink tube until it was tightened. But now they only need to remove the cover, tighten the screws and then put the cover back on. Yeah, that's it. So the installation will be much easier for the customers. 
We will send this battery to a customer in Spain. He will shoot some videos like battery receipt, installation, testing, leave spy after one month, leave spy after three months, or whatsoever. Yeah. So we will see the battery test results and uh, actual usage from him. Yeah, so let's look forward to it together.